Hello, hello, Veronica, good evening. Hello, teacher. Oh my God, it's just Veronica there. Yes, Veronica, hi. <laughs> yes, Veronica. I thought, you, <laughs> hi. I, I thought you were Madeline because of your tone of voice. Ah, <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no. How are you? Uh, fine, thanks. Um, uh, I don't know, say, how do you say como tranquilo? Calm. It's calm. Calm. Ah, okay. Yeah. Calm. It's going. It's easy. You had an easy, you had an easy day. Yes, I have an easy day. An easy day. Very good. Okay. So yesterday we talked about the pronunciation, right? The stress. Yes. The stress. I had a very uh, busy day today. Very, very busy. I worked from 5 a.m. to, well, 11.30. Then I and I taught from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. I had a conference from 6 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. And now I'm teaching from 8 to 10 p.m. Wow, teacher. <laughs> a busy day. Very busy day. Yes. Very and busy. always is, is, is like that? Is it always? Repeat. Is it always like that? Is it always like, like that? that? Yeah. Like that, that? <laughs> yes, kind of, kind of. Okay. Most part of the times, thank God. Thank yeah. God it's like that. <laughs> and no, because yeah, we need to work. But you can uh, relax on Sunday. Can you relax on Sunday? Uh, yes, yes, last Sunday I didn't. I didn't rest. I had to do a lot of things, but this Sunday I, I'm planning to sleep the whole day. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. You need a, mm -hmm. some breaks. Uh -huh. you, uh, I need a break. Yeah, you yes. need a break. Very good. It's true. I need a break. <laughs> but honestly, after the whole pandemic, you know, mm, I don't know if I want to take a break. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's true. Okay, so we are two now. Hello, Jervin. Good evening. Hi, teacher. Good evening. How was your day? It was busy. It was very tough, you know, but it's going. I okay. A, I have, what about you? Oh, uh, I was listening. What are you talking about? It? And after pandemic, my all my all my single day is so busy. Every single day is very busy after the whole. Yeah, every single day, yes. After the whole pandemic, you know, I heard yeah. many many Americans saying, after the whole pandemic, this was the toda la pandemia. It's really weird. After the whole pandemic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Continue. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. Yes. I I have to work a lot of the American was the American is crazy right now. They why buy clothes like a crazy people. Like crazy, yes. like crazy people. Yes. Yeah, yes. be, be careful with the article, like a uh, crazy people, no, like crazy people. Like crazy people, okay. Like if they were crazy, like if they were crazy as well, you can say that. Okay. Now, yesterday I told you we were going to do something today, right? 
No. What, what was it? <laughs> you don't remember? Yeah, about exercise to passive voice. Yes. Yes, we, we have to practice passive voice. Okay, let me just get something right here that I have seen before. Okay, I think I'm ready. Um, let's start. So we talked about the passive voice yesterday. Can you still give me an example? Did you study? Did you study about the passive voice? Okay. Sorry, the I can't hear you. Is... Yeah, I don't know. Is internet? Is, is the internet? Am I breaking up? Can you yes. hear me? Okay, now you can hear now, me. Now, yes. yes. Okay. Did you study about the passive voice? <laughs> that means no. I can hear you. Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, teacher. It's okay. Don't worry. So let me show you something. We're going to do a little exercise right now as a first part. So you can identify because something very important is to identify. To identify what tense are we using? What tense are we using when we use the, the passive voice? Okay, so let me try to do something here to share just my screen. Hello, welcome, Violeta. Okay, I need to know if you're only watching this portion of the screen. Are you looking at the exercises? No, only the. Yeah, just the text. Can you see this text? Yes. Yes. Okay, eso es todo lo que ven, verdad? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Uh, okay, that's too I much. I can see it, but I can read it. You cannot read it? <laughs> Yeah, you have to. How about so, now? Now, now, yes. Yeah. Okay, you know what? Let's go part by part. I wanted to see if I could be working on something else while you do this, but no, let's do it. So here you have to identify, for example, the new computer chip will be produced in Dresden, that's a city or a country. Mm -hmm. So that's the example. The new chip, the new computer chip will be produced in Dresden. That's passive voice. Now, what mm -hmm. tense is this sentence and what's the tense being used? Uh, future, will future maybe? Will future, yes, future. that is correct. That is will future, too dark. Okay, that is right, will future. The new computer chip will be produced. And this is your, um, that's the passive voice, will be produced. Okay, what about the second one? The old vessel was being towed 
into harbor? Fast progressive. Fast progressive? What do you think, Veronica and Max? Violeta? Yeah, fast progressive. Fast progressive? So where's the passive uh, voice? No. No? That's perfect because the was been was been towel. Was yeah, been towed. Was towed. Towed. Okay. Yeah, that's past progressive, guys. Totally. Don't okay. doubt. Don't doubt of yourselves. You got it. Okay. That is past progressive. The old vessel was being towed into harbor. What is a vessel? Google it, Google it. What is a vessel? You know, towed? Like Sorry, Max? Like a ship or something. A ship, right, or something. Yeah, it has to do with a ship or something. But I don't okay. know what is towel. When, when, they use, um, <laughs> when they use a tow to tow you. <laughs> now they're towing my car. There's a hole in the roof. The show is head now, head now, don't dream it so but come on. Toe. It's like a a ship. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. A vessel is like a ship, but towed is like when you have a, a car accident, for example, and they tow your car. You cannot move your car. You have to call oh. a towing company, oh. a towing company to tow your car. Mm -hmm. The verb is T-O-W. That's the verb, T-O-W. Okay, so that's past progressive. What about the patient is being prepared for the major operation? Present progressive. Present perfect progressive. Huh. What do you think? Where is the what is the passive voice in that sentence? The patient is being prepared is for being the major. Prepared. Is being prepared? Yes. Okay, so can you describe what is the structure for the present progressive if, if it is present progressive? Um, so we have, to be what do we have present. here? Subject. A subject, and then? Verb to be. Verb to be, and then? Bain. Bain. <laughs> ing, 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 ing. No, this is not the auxiliary. Be careful. In present progressive, the verb to be is the auxiliary. So yes, these two, listen, these two will tell you what tense you're using. So this is present progressive. And as a rule for the passive voice, the verb goes in past Party, party support. Okay. Yeah. okay, so this was uh, what present progressive. Okay, good job. Very good. Okay, let's go with the next one. A song is going to be sung. What? A song is going to be sung. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Let me see Jarvin. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm tempted to call Jarvin Jarvis. Hello, Jarvis. A song is going to be sung. Uh-huh, Jarvis, what do you think? A song is yes. going to be sung. Va a ser cantada. Will future? Will future? Going yes. to future. Going to future. Is going to future. Going to future. Going to future. Is that going is to. okay. Going to future. Very good, Madeline. Future. Welcome. Yes. Again, this will tell you what you're using. There is the passive voice, and then, oh, sorry, I missed this one too. Okay. It's going to be. Okay, and then the, the past participle of sing. So you have sing sang song. Sing sang song. <laughs> okay. Yeah. 
Okay, and the last one, the president will be elected. The president will be elected. Conditional. Is that conditional, simple, present, progressive, simple, present, will, future? What do you think, buddy? It's a will future. Yes, there you will go. Future. That's my girl. Very but good. It's probability. Yeah. Do you have will be? Yes. Right? And then the past participle of the verb. You see. Probability? Probability. Okay. Yeah. Future okay. with pro possibility. Probability. That's right. Okay. So there you have. This is very important. You have to identify the tense that you're using. Okay. Questions? No? Let's go with another exercise, if you may. Let me get ready with that. And again, you have to pay attention to what sentence you're using in order to determine what, how are you going to modify the verb to be to make it a passive voice. Do you understand what I just said? Can somebody paraphrase what I just said, please? Paraphrase, repeat what I just said in Spanish. Teacher. Yep. No, we don't have to use Spanish. We have to understand in English. Not all of you, I know. Teacher, I, I have a- But we have to. An <laughs> exercise. But really? I don't know what is, it's okay. Hmm. Can I tell you? Yes, please. A film is going to be presented. Okay. It's okay. Yeah, perfect. Okay, thank you. Presented, it's, a film is going to be presented like that. Okay, let's go with the next set. Now you have to move these sentences into the passive voice. Do it on your own, on your notebook, and then we will share it. Okay. Can you see, or should I make this bigger? Bigger? Sorry. Sorry. This is enough for me. What are we supposed to do? Move these sentences to the passive voice. Okay. Teacher, what is the difference between professor, professor and teacher? Grammatically, none. There's no difference between professor, teacher, instructor, facilitator. Grammatically, all of them are the same thing. But in context, a professor knows more than a teacher, a professor, oh. a professor could be a doctor in law, for example, a, yeah. doc, a doctor that's in, a, that's like a master, someone who knows professor everything. Professor is teacher, uh, teacher to the teacher. A professor teaches, teaches, teachers. Teacher yes, a teacher, teacher. <laughs> yes. a uh, professor yeah. teaches teachers. That's you right. are a professor to us. No. Uh, no. <laughs> because I, I, I'm, I'm a oh, yes. I'm a teacher, but you are a teacher to me. And, to, and then you are a professor. It could be, yeah, if you see it in that context. Yeah. But if you teach okay. me, if you teach me what you teach, then you will be my professor. <laughs> yeah. Professor, okay. Yeah, that's okay. 
I'm confused with the third Professor one. is less than teacher. No, uh, it's more than. No, it's more. Oh, it's more than. It's Professor more. is more than teacher. Yes. Yeah. It's yes. like a master. Yes. A very uh, knowledgeable. Has a principal. Has a principal in an institute. Uh, let's say that a professor teaches at the university. Yes. Let's say that's a professor. Okay. Um, okay. We must write to her. I'm confused with that one. Continue. Continue mm -hmm. on your notebook. What are you doing right now? Oh, we are moving these sentences to passive voice, darling. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to write it. I have a question. Mm -hmm. Do we have to move the subject and the object? Or we have to copy the... That's your answer. You same. have to find the object, move it to the beginning, and then introduce the passive voice. Okay. And it's up to you if you leave the doer of the action, remember? By... Okay. And Mm -hmm. And we sometimes the... we have to change the tense of the... Be careful. That's the point. That's the be point. Sure. What tense are you going to use? Yes, Max? Do we have to use being? No. You can but do listen. it. It's up to you. It's, okay. it's an option. Okay. I know this is creepy. Can I give a number two? Wait, <laughs> not no. yet. Finish, finish. Not the... yet. It's one, two. How many are there? One, two, three, four, five sentences. I, I wrote the number two. <laughs> okay, keep going, keep going. It's five. Okay, ready? For the better or worse, <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> okay.
I could only the number two and four and the number one and three. No, I cannot. Hmm. Okay, what about the rest? Um, wait a minute. Okay. Hmm. In passive voice, the number one, I can, I don't understand. They developed an environmentally friendly type of question about no. <laughs> Don't worry, we will go step by step. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't know where to put. Give me just Those one second. I'm sorry. Okay. The mask. Ay, lo siento chicos, perdón por la interrupción, pero hace poco operaron a mi suegra de una rodilla de artritis degenerativa, he tenido como 20 años de estar con eso, entonces la han... Sorry, sorry. Corregido. Uh, anyways, ok. Oh, do you hear that? Yeah, yeah it was tough. Ok, guys, ready? Yes, yes. I'm ready. Only number two. <laughs> Just, okay, don't worry, Madeline. You will do. <laughs> you will do number two. Don't worry. <laughs> Whoever um, is laughing, Madeline is doing number two. Okay, so yes. Okay, oh. let's go with number one. I'm I'm all ears. I'm all ears. Soy todo ears. I'm all ears. Mm -hmm. An environmentally friendly type of question. Yes. This is the subject. Perfect. Who said that? Veronica. One applause yeah. for Veronica. I repeat. Veronica, repeat. <laughs> repeat. I cannot hear you. Look, look, look. An environmentally friendly type of washing powder. That's your subject. And it goes... I'm sorry, that's a, that's your object and it becomes to be your subject. So an environmentally friendly type of washing powder. Uh -huh, Vero? <laughs> I only <laughs> make this. Idea. No, no, okay. Uh, okay. Then you have the passive um, voice. So let's yeah. see what grammar it's tense. Been, oh, very close. It's been, what is the grammar tense here? What time are you using? It's present. Present, so develop. Uh -huh. Yes, develop. Developed. Development. No, that's it. Developed. Developed. It is developed. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Do we need the doer? Bye. Bye. Okay. Bye. They. They. Mm, them. By them. Them. By them. Got it. An environmentally friendly type of washing powder. Okay. Now, I want you to notice this. The washing, well, even this. The powder is the noun. And all of this works as an adjective is classifying the powder. What type of powder is it? Oh, it's an, an, an environmentally friendly type of washing powder. It's a washing powder and it is very friendly. It's 
and environmentally friendly type of washing powder. My God, very good, Vero. Then you have the passive voice. Thank you. Is developed. Okay. This is the doer. <coughs> Could be optional. Clear? Bien, no me muevo de este momento, y perdón que hable español, pero sí, necesito que, quedar claro. ¿Alguien tiene alguna pregunta con lo que acaba de hacer Vero, con lo que acabamos de hacer? No, it's okay. It's okay? Okay. Good. Teacher, I use being in that sentence. Oh, because we are using the simple present. They okay. develop. Yeah? They develop. Mm -hmm. Always look at the verb to identify what grammar tense we're using. Okay. Good. Now let's go to the next one. Madeline. Jack has uh, installed. The new computer software has been installed by Jack. A new computer software. Okay, a new computer software has been installed by Jack. I like that. What do you think, guys? Install it. Mm -hmm. A new computer software has been installed, installed by Jack. So Install again, where is my object? Object is computers. Hmm. Yeah. Software. Why? What kind of software is it? It's a computer software. It is new. And that's it. It's a new computer software. Again, this is qualifying the noun. This is the noun. And this is qualifying the noun. Okay. Now we have the verb, and in this case we have the auxiliary. So what this is? Install it. What what grammar tense is this? Is uh, um, present perfect. No. Present perfect. Present perfect. Yeah, excellent. And this is the doer. Okay. So I move the object to the beginning. And then I transform this into the passive voice. Easy. Now let's go with the third one. Did anybody got it? Can, Did you get it? Yes. We can we say uh, was installed by Jack? No, because you have present perfect. You need to use present Is perfect. That, okay. Mm -hmm. That's part of the rule, as we practice at the beginning. Now we must write to her. Anybody? No? Yeah, that was difficult. Okay. As a general rule, when you move an object pronoun to the beginning of a sentence as a passive, then you transform it into a subject. She. 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 Okay, it's not longer her. She now it is she. Seen. Can you repeat that again? By us. Yes, cuando, como regla general, el objeto, cuando está como objeto pronombre, pasa a ser sujeto. Instead of her, we're going to have she. Okay. Ahora, vamos a respetar el tiempo gramatical. Y en ese caso no es un tiempo gramatical, sino un modal. Okay. Okay. She must be written to. Mm -hmm. She must be written to. It's kind of easy, but confusing. Yeah. Right. I know. 
I actually Google it to remember to, <laughs> read, to remember how to do it. She must be written to, but it makes a lot of sense. Written. What is the object comes to be the subject. Be Give me one second, okay? She must be written to by us. Written or written? Writing. This past part is full. Classmates is written or written? Written. Written. Okay. Thank you, Max. Excellent. Okay. She must be written to by us. How would you translate that? It's, it sounds like Yoda from Star Wars. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Teacher, but in Spanish, I can I don't understand. That's what I'm it saying. It must be written to by us because yeah, it's yeah, they, a, a it's a person. No. It's no, como okay, Marlene. It's like saying se le debe de escribir. Se le se debe, le de debe escribir. escribir. Ajá, o le debemos escribir. Señora, ¿cómo sigue el gato? Se le debe escribir. Uh -huh. Se le debe escribir. She must be written to by us. Let's see. We must write to her. Debemos escribirle. Se le debe escribir a ella. Se le debe escribir a ella. O le debemos escribir a ella. Something like that. Okay. But grammatically, that is correct. Okay, the professor is going to show the students an old bun. Oh, look at that. A professor. Who, who, what kind of professor is this one if he's going to show a bun to the student? Science. The student is um, the... A science a doctor? Paleontologist. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's a difficult word. Paleontologist. Paleontologist. Oh. Paleontologist. Ar Archaeologist. Archaeologist. I don't know where is it going. Oh my God. Yeah. It's an eye. And it's not just an eye. Hold on. Paleontologist. What am I missing here? Paleontolo. Oh, I'm missing the O. Sorry. Okay. Paleontologist. There you go, paleontologist. Okay, paleontolo, even in Spanish sounds really weird. Okay, the professor is going to show the students an old bond. What is the object of this sentence? Bone. The students. The students. An old bone. An old bone. So yeah, an I old bone. Try it. Okay. The An old bone is being shown shown to the students by the professor. Uh, by the professor. An old bone hmm. is going. Or is going to be shown. It's going to be shown. There you go. It's going and to be shown. To... It's going to be shown. It's going to, sh to be show, shown Show. by uh, the professor. Uh, there you go. An old bond is going to be shown to the students by the professor. By the professor. Yeah, this is a very clear example of why you need to identify the grammar tense. Then you add the verb to be. Perdón, voy a decir en español. Quiero que quede claro esto. Is going to be. It's going to sería el futuro, ¿verdad? Y el verbo iría en su forma base. Por eso, al agregar el verbo to be, como lo dice el pasado, el, la voz pasiva, debe ir en su forma base. ¿Ok? Igual que acá, presente perfecto, auxiliar. Y luego dice el verbo en su forma uh, de pasado participio y según la voz pasiva, el siguiente verbo en pasado participio también. ¿Ok? It's going to be shown has been installed. Questions? Notice this, I mean, you don't need the, the doer, right, Violeta? 
you can simply say an old bond is going to be shown to the students and that's it okay mm -hmm. but in in the platform we have to copy the whole sentence i haven't so checked that I, part i think i think we have to Let's we see. have to write all 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 the sentence the whole sentence really yes in the in the exercise i think is the exercise uh, the two two point two we have to write the whole sentence good to know to point you instructions it says rewrite Re the sentences using the passive and the preposition given which is what we're about to study now let's take a look at that right now let's pay attention okay this is very important because now instead of buy we're going to use other prepositions okay and we need to find sense we need to make sense to this. With the explanation, we are sure. Hi, after you listen to the audio program and watch the video with the explanation, we are sure you will understand how to describe causes using by, because of, due to, as a result of, and through. Stay with us. Passive with prepositions. Present continuous passive. The air is being polluted by fumes from cars and trucks. City streets are being damaged as a result of heavy traffic. Present perfect passive. The roadways have been jammed because of people's dependence on cars. Many parks have been lost through overbuilding. The homeless have been displaced due to overcrowding in city shelters. Okay, give me just one minute. I'm going to send that to your WhatsApp because so you can see the, the picture better. This is exactly what we're studying, what we were practicing right now, conjugating conjugating the uh, passive voice in different tenses. Take a look at the examples and let's move on with the video. Teacher, but Miss Wang. Before we go deep into the talk. I'm sorry, Vero? Uh, Miss Exercise. Who we, say it is a, the last exercise? Oh, you mean on the exercises we were doing? I'm sorry, honey. Hold on. Who said it? It's true. So that's easy. You have the answer? E I suppose. Mm -hmm. uh, is it say by who? Hmm. Is it? Now, what is the grammar tense here? Because it's a question. It's a question. Um, yes. But what is the grammar tense? By past. grammar? Past, right? Simple past. So? Uh, was. Now, it's a question, so we need to respect that, right? Okay. Exactly. Who was? It, it has been said by somebody. Close. It was been said. Mm -mm. Who was? Was is the verb to be in past. Yes. So we started, we already started the passive voice there. Who was? Uh-huh. Being. It uh -uh. was being 
I need to move the object, guys, to this side. It. Okay. It what been said. Re said remember, remember it. By somebody. Subject. It. Object. Remember that? For she, I have her, right? For him. For he, I have, I have? Yes, or, or he, him. 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 Him, I told, I told. So it, will, it will be the same. Who was it? Him. Who was it? Who was it? Said. What is the past participle of say? Say. Has. Participle. Uh, it has been said, said by said. somebody. Who was said? Listen, who was it said? I can even add the by. By. Who, who was it said who by? Was who was it We're not by? going to use been in Spanish. What is the meaning? Okay, who I was have... it said by? Who said it? Quien lo dijo? Who was it said by? Por quien fue dicho? Oh, yes. Who was it said by? Thank you. Yep. Por quien fue dicho eso? Quien dijo eso? Por quien fue dicho eso? Who was it said by? And it sounds fancy. It sounds very fancy. Who was it said by? I will never use that question. Yeah. If, you, if you're in London and if you're in Great Britain, I guess, or the UK, yes. <laughs> no, get used to it. I won't. <laughs> I you may try. You prefer the American? <laughs> okay. I know. I know. Mm hmm. <laughs> see that's the difference I did tell you that she did go to school I did see her they use the auxiliary in the positive in British did you know you, that you <laughs> think... at the end at, at first yeah you I did tell you that. Okay, it's just an example. In in American, we don't say I I did tell you that. We will say I told you that, right? That's um, just an example. I yeah. told you. She did go to school. It will be, she went to school. Okay. You can use that. Yeah, you can use that too. Okay. Because if someone asks you and and a rhetoric. And, yeah, you can say she did. No, she, she didn't did. say that. She did say that. Okay. She did. Yes, yeah, she did. Okay. okay. Good. What am I doing? Wait. I need to find that screen where we were presenting okay, the video. Let's move on. Let's do it. So we're talking about here present continuous passive. The air is being polluted. The air is being polluted by films from cars and trucks by by fumes from cars and trucks so after by you need to use the base form okay let's say of a noun no a noun a noun after by you need a noun every example we have seen with by after by we have the doer in the passive voice city streets are being damaged as a result of heavy traffic. As we said before, the first part of a sentence in passive voice, the first part of a sentence in passive voice, okay, doesn't need a doer. The doer is optional. Are you understanding, guys? 
What is doers, teacher? The doer is who does the action. The subject in any any active sentence. So to put this in context, let's do an example. Moving the first sentence. Violeta, can you help me? <clears throat> How do you transform the air is being polluted into active voice? Not passive, but active voice. The air. Mm -hmm. The air is 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 polluted. Is polluted. Is, the is air has hot. Polluted. Mm. No. Do you won't be able to do it. Polluted. Now, wait, Violeta. The, what is the subject here? What was the subject on the active voice? The air. The air. The air. Polluter. From cars and trucks. Excellent. Fumes from cars and trucks. <clears throat> so again. Teacher, what's the meaning of foam? Foam. Fumes. Um, yeah. Emisiones humo. Emisiones, fumes, humos, uh -huh. humos, fumes, fumes, fumes. Oh my God, is it humos or emisiones? Wait a minute. Has to be emisiones. Emisiones, right? Yeah. Emissions. I can just Google it, please, because I can't remember. Um, man, and I saw that a few days ago. Fumes from cars and trucks. Oh, here it is. Are polluting the air. How do I know this, Violeta? How do I know this, everybody? Because I have is being polluted. So this is present, continuous, right? Is being. That's it. Yeah, yes. So the sentence that I need to write will be in active voice. In present continuous. Mm -hmm. Now the doer who said that, uh, Danny Crow, I think. <laughs> I think Danny was asking, what's the uh, doer, right? So here's the doer. The doer finishes at the end in the passive voice and is not relevant to the sentence. What is important is what is happening. The air is being polluted. By who? Oh, by the fumes from cars and trucks. That's the doer. And if I want to do active, then I turn it to the beginning. Fumes from cars and trucks are polluting the air. Okay, let's go with the second one. Um, we have city streets are being- No, don't erase. Oh, remember <laughs> that we are recording, Madeline. You can always watch the video. I couldn't write. Yeah, and I deleted it. Hold on. From I don't have a way. From cars. I don't have a way to show it again. I'm sorry. Phone from cars. Yeah, you have. Just move this to the beginning. We said fumes from cars from and, from trucks and trucks are polluting. Are polluting? The air. Polluting the air. The air, okay, air, 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 air. Okay, air. second one. The city streets are being damaged as a result of heavy traffic. Um, Daniela, would you like to try? Mm, yes. Um, heavy traffic. Is... <laughs> oh, close, close. Present continuous. Damaging. I don't know how to pronounce it. Damaging. Damaging. Mm -hmm. City streets. 
this city streets. Heavy traffic is damaging the city streets damaging or the city streets. now we take the subject and we make it the object of the sentence. We introduce the verb to be with the verb in past participle now. We respect the, um, the auxiliary here. Now, why am I saying are and not is on the passive voice? Because the uh -huh. object is in plural, in plural. Got it. That's right. So the city streets are. Is being damaged. Are. By the heavy traffic. You got it. Please, do you have any questions? Question. Any questions? Is heavy traffic damaged the city, the city streets? <laughs> Perfect. There you go. But I'm asking you. Are you confused? Is this difficult? What do you think? Is difficult, Violeta? Okay. More or less. <laughs> More or less, I like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let, let's see the other examples. And we have present perfect. Okay. <laughs> Remember? The same exercise. The roadways have been jammed. I confuse this in the Spanish, so I confuse this in English. Oh, really? Come on. <laughs> Do you think this is confusing in Spanish? Yes. Yeah, hey, it confuses. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yo lo siento fácil en el español. No sé por qué. El aire está siendo contaminado por las emisiones de los carros y los camiones. ¿Qué diría acá entonces, Beatriz? En español. Yeah. Eh, sería eh, las calles de la ciudad están siendo dañadas uh -huh. como resultado de como un resultado de un tráfico del, fuerte o algo del tráfico, tráfico pesado. pesado tráfico pesado excelente sí simple you got it now present perfect passive the railways have been jammed because of people's dependence on cars. Hmm? So what is my subject? The subject is people depends on car. It's traffic, no. Dependence. Uh, peoples. Present perfect. Auxiliary. Depends has. On, depends has. On car. Has been. I don't need the has, bean anymore. No, no, no. Has. Uh, has. Uh, has. Jam. Jam. Has jam. The roadway. The roadways. Whew. Yeah, people's dependence on cars has jammed the roadways. Excellent. Next, many parks have been lost through overbuilding. Uh, many parks is that subject. Mm -mm. Overbuilding. Overbuilding. Okay. Overbuilding has lost. Has lost many parks. Has has no has lost no lost lose has lose lost has lost many parts. In that case, we use the has to verb. Violeta, Violeta. Uh, when we use the auxiliary has, we're going to use the same structure of the verb. We're going to use the verb in past. Remember that this is present perfect. Present perfect. So you have so we, subject, auxiliary, yes. uh -huh. verb in and past verb, participle. The verb past part, participle. Mm -hmm. yes. And the complement. So we're going to we're going to 
we're going to have the same verb. We're going to use the same. The yes, same because form. jammed, lost, displaced are your main verbs on the active voice. Remember, as we did at the beginning of the class, what we are doing is identifying number one, what is this, the, the, the grammar tense we're using on an active. On the active voice, you need to identify what is the grammar tense. How do you find it? With the verb, okay? In the passive voice, you just need to identify the auxiliary and the verb to be to understand what grammar tense you're using. Okay, now I want you to pay close attention to this and take a look at what follows these prepositions, these connectors, because of people through overbuilding due to overcrowding. Study this and I will see you tomorrow at 9 p.m. again. Por favor, trate de estar a tiempo para que podamos entrar de lleno a la clase y podamos ocupar mejor el tiempo, ¿ok? Good? Okay. I'll see okay. you tomorrow at 9 p.m. Good night. Bye. Take care. Bye. Bye. Bye, Bye. Bye classmate.